Speak Indo podcast is a medium to think about life while learning about the Indonesian language and culture. Hi, I'm Natasha, the host of Speak Indo podcast. The first part of the story will be narrated in the Indonesian language. The second part will be in English. The transcript is available on our blog, speakindo.life, and our YouTube, Speak Indo channel. Season 4, Episode 1, God for Me. Agustus 2019, saya beli tiket dari Yogyakarta ke Los Angeles untuk berangkat tanggal 16 Maret 2020. Pada saat saya berangkat ke bandara, saya dapat info bahwa berhubung kasus COVID meluas, maka Singapore Airlines memberi kemudahan untuk reschedule. Luar biasa. Dalam waktu yang mepet, saya berhasil menunda keberangkatan ke Amerika. 16 April 2022, saya ke Washington DC. 18 April, saya mau shopping ke Tyson Corner Center. Anak saya yang mengemudikan mobil salah masuk jalur tol. Ada dua gerbang, satu jalur cepat pembayaran tanpa henti atau espas, dua gerbang berbayar tunai koin satu setengah dolar. Aktivitas keseharian anak saya tidak lewat tol, maka dia tidak membawa transponder. Kami juga baru tiba, tidak membawa uang logam. Sedang gerbang tidak ada petugas yang berjaga. Gerbang pertama, hampir tiap lima detik ada mobil melintas. Gerbang kedua sangat sepi. Anak saya memeriksa dompetnya, cuma ada 65 sen. Kami gelisah. Beberapa saat kemudian, ada mobil masuk ke jalur berbayar. Kami mundurkan mobil agar mobil yang baru datang bisa lewat. Ternyata pengemudi mobil tersebut juga kebingungan karena harus menyediakan uang logam. Dia mencari-cari di dompetnya dan ada dua setengah dolar. Dengan sepenuh sukacita, pengemudi yang baru kami kenal itu memberikan satu dolar gratis kepada kami sehingga kami dapat lewat. Menyadari Allah memberi solusi, maka 28 April 2022 jam 17.40 saya meminta anak saya mengulangi lewat ke jalur satu setengah dolar dengan persiapan membawa uang logam dan merekamnya. Allah Maha Besar. The next one will be the English version of the story. August 2019, I bought a ticket from Yogyakarta to Los Angeles with a departure date of March 16, 2020. When I was going to the airport, I received information that as the COVID cases have spread, Singapore Airlines gave the flexibility to reschedule. Amazing. I managed to postpone the departure to America at the very last minute. April 16, 2022. I went to Washington, D.C. On April 18, as I was going to do some shopping at Tyson's Corner Center, my son who was driving the car took the wrong toll lane. There were two gates. Gate 1 is the fast track, non-stop payment using Easy Pass. And gate 2, cash payment at $1.50. My son's daily activities did not involve going through the toll, so he didn't bring a transponder. We also have just arrived and we didn't have change while there were no staff on duty at the gates. The first gate had a car passing through every five seconds. The second gate was quite empty. My son checked his wallet and he only had 65 cents. We were anxious. A few moments later, there was a car entering the cash payment gate. We reversed our car so that the incoming car could pass through. 
Turns out the driver of that car was also flustered, as he had to have change ready. He looked through his wallet, and he had two dollars and fifty cents. The newly acquainted driver happily gave us a dollar for free, so that we could pass. Realizing that God had given us a solution, then on April twenty eighth, twenty twenty two, at five forty p.m., I asked my son to go again through that a dollar fifty gate, being already prepared with change, and recorded the process. God is good. This is a story from Cristiano Tanoto, who is originally from Surabaya and currently residing in Yogyakarta. He owns a bicycle shop named Toko Speda Dua Ribu, which means Bicycle Shop 2000, in Croya near Cilacap in Central Java. The shop is a place where he projects and enjoys his natural talent in tinkering professionally. Currently, he is writing his own autobiography. We are in the midst of repeating history, where greed and power, dividing and manipulating the world through war of hunger, illness, and fear. It's not about taking sides, it's not about beating the enemies, but it might be about unlocking wisdom and beating the brute in our soul. Probably one day when we look back, we will learn how valuable is the time that we have to hug our loved ones, to be kind to our fellow humans, and to thank the sun for shining upon us. We'd like to thank the people who have supported our program, especially our guest speakers, for sharing their true stories.